Welcome back to Mrs. Stewart's Crochet Club. Today we're going to learn how to make this really beautiful and chic um, pot holder. Uh, could be a pot holder, could be a dish towel, could be just a decoration for your kitchen. Um, we're going to go through how to make this you, um, using a cotton yarn. I'm using a five millimeter hook, although you could go up or down um, if you don't have a five millimeter hook. Um, it takes two colors, or even if you don't have two colors, you could just use one solid color to make this cute little um, flower motif. So I'm going to start with my center color. Mine is green. I'm down to my scraps now because I've made this um, project quite a few times. Uh, it's just one I really love, so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, you can start with a magic loop. I'm going to start with a chain two, and then I'm going to do my double crochets into the first chain. I'm going to make a slip knot, insert my hook, and I'm going to chain two. One, two. I'm going to put um, two, 10 double crochets into the very first stitch here. So that is yarn over, insert through that little chain there, pull through your yarn. You should have three on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and we're gonna go again. Yarn over, insert through the center, pull up a loop. You have three on your hook. Pull through two, pull through two. I'm gonna go again. So we have uh, two, we're gonna go with the number three. Yarn over, insert, you have three on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That's three. Go again, this is number four. You have three on your hook. Pull through two, pull through two. Four. Number five, pull through two, pull through two. Keep going until you have 10 of these and 10. So I have done my 10 stitches. I'm just gonna go back and verify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to attach to this loop that's right here. So you're gonna insert through that loop, pull through the string, and pull through the string without wrapping. That's the slip stitch. So you should have 10 stitches all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, and we're going to chain two, and we're gonna double crochet into each, um, into each of the previous rounds of double crochet. So we'll have 20 in the end. Um, no, so chain two, the chain twos in this pattern do not count as a double crochet. So that means I'm gonna be put, starting my first two double crochets into the same one that I just came out of. So we're ignoring this, it's just helping us to build up. So here we go, let's do two double crochets in each stitch all the way around, and you should have 20 stitches at the end. So here we go, insert, pull through two, pull through two. Now we're gonna go again, remembering that the first chain two does not count. Pull through two, pull through two. Okay, moving on to the next stitch here. Again, do two double crochets. One, yarn over, insert, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so I've gotten to my very last stitch, my last two stitches, so I did one. And the next one, um, because this is the last stitch of this color, we're going to do a color change. So how to do a color change, I'm gonna get my second color ready. My second color is pink. And I'm gonna start my stitch as if it was a normal stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then stop. So we're not going to complete this stitch. Instead, we're going to drop our color and we're going to go with our second color and we're simply I'm not going to tie a knot or anything I'm just going to pretend that it's all secure and good to go and we're going to just loop it over your your hook and instead of completing it with the green you're going to complete it with the pink or whatever your second color may be 
Um, and then as we go along, it'll tighten up. So we can just kind of tighten it as we go. So now that's the color change. We're on to our next color here. So we're on to our next color here. And I'm going to take this stitch here and I'm going to join to the top, the beginning um, chain. And these things will tighten up as we go along. And we're actually going to um, be crocheting over these ends so we won't have so much to worry about with weaving in. Okay, so this is the next, the next, uh, we're on to the next row now. Okay, we're going to chain two, one, two, chain two at the beginning of every row. This is an increasing row, so um, we were, we're going to be continuing with this pattern. So remember that the first stitch does not count as a double crochet. We're going to do one double crochet into that same stitch that you just joined into. And I'm going to catch my ends, just kind of let it lay over top so they'll get caught in the, the string. Okay, one double crochet into this stitch. And the next stitch, keeping the still keeping the ends held against the work, is going to be an increase. So we're going to put two double crochets into this stitch. One, and then two. Okay. We're going to continue this pattern all the way around till we get back to the start so by doing one double crochet in the one stitch. And then we're going to do a two double crochet increase into the next one. One. Two. Okay, and I didn't forget, but I neglected to snip off my green ball. So I'm just gonna snip that off and get it out of the way. Not a big deal if you did or didn't at this point. Um, okay, so continue around one one double crochet, two double crochets, one, two, one, two, one, two, until you get back to the very start. Okay, so I'm at my very last stitch. My very last stitch should be two double cro crochets. Um, if you don't end with two double crochets, then your count is off, and you should go back and double check it, um, just to keep things consistent. So 30 stitches, we should be at 30 stitches right now, remembering that this one is not an actual stitch, it's just the turning chain. Um, okay, so we're gonna join to the top stitch right here, and pull it through. So there is your circle, it's coming along. Um, good thing about this project, it's not very many rounds, um, so it's it's definitely a nice little project to do. Um, on to round four. We did one, two, three. L round four is another increase. So we're going to be doing a chain two, one, two. Remembering that this does not count as a stitch, so we're going to be we're going to be working right at the base of it. Um, we're going to do a one double crochet into this stitch. One. Two. Um, and this one is going to start the petals. So we're going to be doing one double crochet. Then in the next two, we're doing an increase. So there's two double crochets into this stitch. That's two. The next stitch will have two double crochets. One, two. And then we're going to have one double crochet into the next stitch. And then a single crochet into the last of this cluster. So that's the first petal. So the pattern we're going to be repeating around, um, I'm going to do it with you, but the pattern will be one double crochet, two double crochets in the next two. That was two in the first one. Two in the second one. One double crochet in the next one. And to finish it off, one single crochet. So that's the next petal. Continue around. Like I said again, my yarn is giving me a hard time. 
Um, so this is this is the pattern we're going to continue around. One, two, two, one, single. One, two, two, one, single. But, okay, we're going to join to the top right here, not down on the stri the stitches on the side, right there on the top. That's the stitch we're going to join into. And there we have it. So that is starting to look a little bit flowery, isn't it? Um, going on to chain to row five, continuing to build our petals here. Um, so chain two does not count as a stitch. One, two. You're going to be doing one double crochet in the next two stitches. So starting in the first one where we've joined, which um, you're doing one double crochet, another double crochet. Then you're going to be doing, in the next two stitches, you're going to be doing two double crochets, so that's an increase. There's one, two, and the next one is two as well. Two. Then you're going to do, be doing one double crochet in the next two. One. This is the second one, two, and then you're going to finish that with a single crochet in the single crochet from the previous round. So in the dip, we're putting a single crochet. So this is our pattern. It's going to be one, one, two, two, one, one, single. So let's do that. One, one. Two double crochets in the next two. And then one, one, so one double crochet, one double crochet. The last one is a single. We keep going. One, one, two, two, one, one, single crochet. Okay, I am now at my very last stitch, which is a single crochet. So I'm gonna single crochet into that spot. And then I'm gonna join, don't join here, it's tempting. We're gonna to join to this stitch right here. Okay, so if it didn't look like a flower before, it's definitely looking like a flower now. Um, keep going, you're doing a great job. We're going on to row six. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, row six. So row six is very similar. Um, we're increasing in the, the one double crochets. Instead of doing two, we're gonna be doing three. So we're gonna do our churning chain or our build up chain ignoring it, it doesn't exist. It exists, but it doesn't count as anything. Um, we're going to be doing three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. So three double crochets up. The next two stitches are gonna be two double crochets in each stitch. One, Two, and then the next one, one, and two, and then we're going to be doing three double crochets, so one in the next three stitches, followed by a single crochet. One, two, and three. Now at the end, we're doing our single crochet into that stitch. I'm finding it's a little bit tight there. Um, don't stress too much, just get it in. Okay, so this is the pattern we're gonna continue around. One, two, three, three double crochets, one in the next each, sorry, one in the next three, 
and then two in the next two, three, and single crochet. I'll do one more petal with you and then you can meet me at the beginning. So here we do three double crochets in the next three, or one in the next three. One, two, three, two, one, two, two in the next one as well, one, two, sorry my camera is wobbling a little bit, three double, three double crochets in the next three stitches, or one in the next three, one, two, three, and single crochet in that little space there. Okay, continue, three, two, three, single crochet, three, two, three, all the way around. I'll meet you when you get back to the start. Okay, so we are back almost to the start. I'm just doing my last three. One, two, three, and the single crochet. And then we're going to join again, not with this little one, this one is the turning chain the one above it, so we're gonna to join to that one. And it's looking great. You can flatten it out a little bit. It's looking good. We have a couple more rounds to go. This is the last real round that we have to do. Um, we're almost there. Okay, so we're gonna start with a chain two. One, two. We're going to do three double crochets, so one double crochet in the next three, starting at the base of that chain. One, get some extra yarn out here, two, three, this is where it changes up just a little bit from the previous couple of rounds. Instead of doing two double crochets in the next two, we're gonna do two double crochets in the next four. So it'll be two, 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 two increasing. Two double crochets. That's one. Two double crochets again. This is two. There's number three. Two double crochets into number three. And the last one two double crochets into number four. I'm sorry if you're hearing an air conditioning running in the background. I had to turn it on. It was essential to the rest of this video. I know it's a little bit, might be a little bit noisy, but um, the next three stitches are going to be double crochet, double, 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 and then a single at the end. Single, double, double, two, three and a single crochet right in there okay so continuing for pattern three doubles so one two three then four two double crochets so that'll be two here two 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 and then three I'll do one more petal with you and then you can work your way to the end so let's do our three double crochets in the next three there's one, two, three, two double crochets in the next four stitches. Get some more yarn here. one, two, 
two, three, sorry, there is three, and our last two in the next stitch, and that is four. So that was two double crochets in the four stitches. And the next one is double, 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 three double crochets. One, two, and oh, three, and we're going to go to single crochet into that little single crochet space. So continue around, as I said again, I keep repeating it. Three, two, 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 three. I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, so I've made it around to the beginning, um, to my very last stitch. My last stitch is the single crochet into the little space here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm going to join again, not to the chain two, but to the top stitch here. Now that is the last round. So this is the completed, um, this is the completed work right here. I'm going to hold up my camera a little bit if I can. So this is the completed work right here. You are done unless you want to add um, this handy little loop. So I did a loop on my sample. Um, so if you want to hang on and do the loop, it's quite easy. We'll just get that done. Okay, so to do the loop, the first thing that we need to do is we're going to slip into the next stitch. So ignoring this one here, we're gonna slip into the next stitch. That is you insert your hook, pull through a loop, and pull through the loop again. Um, and we're gonna do that six times. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're just trying to get centered here. Um, so getting to the top of that petal. Now we're gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to slip right back in to the same stitch that we just and exited out of. So down here, right down here, insert your hook, pull through the loop, hold on to these. I tend to hold on with my thumb and my finger and pull through again. And now um, it does, we don't really have to slip here, but I like to just kind of get to the other end. So I'm going to do some more slips until I get a good distance away. Okay, that seems good to me. I'm gonna stop there. I'm going to cut my string. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull it through. Okay, I hope you saw that, it was a little off camera. So that should be, um, you could slip all the way down to here if you'd like. Maybe aesthetically that'd be more pleasing, but for me, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me very much. Um, so you should have a loop, you can hang it up if you need to. Um, something else I've done with these before. So of course you're gonna go through and tidy up the back. Take two of these, wrong side to wrong side, put them together, and then with your crochet hook, you would just do a single crochet all the way around till you get back to where you started. And this would make a really great pot holder, like a really retro-y um, 70s vibe pot holder. I actually did one. I'm not sure where it is right now, but I did one and it's lovely. It looks really nice and um, being cotton yarn, it's nice and thick. I just like to add that this is not my own um, pattern. This pattern came from the Bernat. It was on the label with this Bernat um, cotton yarn. I think it's ca called Bernat Inspirations. Um, on their website, they have a lot of free patterns. You can go to the Bernat website and I'll see if I can link it down below. Um, and you can find the printed version of this pattern. It's a downloadable PDF that you can download onto your phone or your computer 
And um, I just thought I really love this pattern and I've done it so many times that I would share it with you. I hope they're not mad at me for, for doing their pattern. If they are, I'm sorry. Um, so thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you have a very lovely um, pattern, a very lovely pot holder or face cloth or dish cloth. Um, very satisfying. I Seven rounds and done. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. Join me for more crochet adventures in the future.